In an apartment building on the Upper West Side, behind door number 1C, is a suite for violins. Once a musician is playing the violin or the cello or the viola or whatever instrument they play, or the piano, for the same sake, is they feel that they are part of them. It feels that they feel that the violin is part of their own uh, existence. My name is David Segal. We are at David Segal Violins. We sell and we buy instruments, violins, violas and cellos. We repair them and I do make violins and violas and cellos as well. It takes about 200 hours in, in my estimate to make a violin. What called to you about this profession? It was embedded in me in a way. Instrument making was uh, since I was born or before. I was born and raised in Israel. My father was an artist and a violin maker as well. I was helping him a little bit in the workshop of his. Tell me a little bit about the staff here. Hideo is a master violin maker from uh, Japan. You speak Italian with Hideo? Yes. Because you both studied in... Cremona. This cello, I, I, I opened this cello because there are a lot of cracks, you know, something critical. When you open, you need to be very careful. What are some of the things that can go wrong? A lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things, because it is so, it's very delicate. If you think about it, it's just maybe here, in that spot, it's maybe two millimeters thick. The nice thing about our work here is that there is no, never a repetition. One crack is not, is not like another crack. One break of a bow or a violin is not the same as an in another violin. So it's a science and an art, really. Yeah. Diane, you've been working with David for it'll decades. Be, well, yeah, it'll be my 40th anniversary on January 2nd. What do you think, if you had to try to describe what's most special about the sound of the violin? It's probably the closest you can come to the human voice hmm. in terms of timbre, um, color, complexity. And I think that's why people like the sound so much. Hi, I'm Finnegan. What would you say your favorite part of the job is? Best part of this job is definitely working with every type of person you can imagine. Huge age range too. Mm -hmm. Little kids, super excited for their first teeny tiny violin. Yeah. Like something like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you meet a lot of violinists. Is there anything that you would say that they all have in common? Violinists always want a better violin. <laughs> <laughs> a modern violin can cost between fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars up to seventy-five thousand wow. dollars. When people come in here, are they surprised by what they see? Usually, there is a big "do not, do not enter." <laughs> <laughs> So people don't usually see this workshop. People are very scared when you yeah. touch an instrument that because that's it's that's their whole that's that's life, that's practically. That's right. So like if you have a surgery, don't buy, you want to be... Uh, yeah. <laughs> For you having been here now since 1973, is that right? What do you think your secret is to success in Stubborn business? Stubbornness. Yeah. <laughs> Stubbornness and wishing to continue that what... Uh, uh, makes me what I am. <laughs>